Hey there, it's Heather with Tiller here. And today I'm gonna to walk you through how to set up and get started with the Tiller Foundation Template. Let's dive in. So when you first start out in the Foundation Template, you'll see the Insights Sheet. At the top, we provide some quick insights about how often and how much data Tiller has added since you linked accounts to this particular spreadsheet. It also gives you some insights on your largest outflow and your most frequent payee. You can also see the balances of your top most active accounts based on activity from transactions for those accounts in the last 90 days, and you can see up to three of them if you have three or more linked to this sheet. You also get a quick insight about your net worth based on the accounts that are connected to this sheet. A little farther down, you'll see the transaction analyzer that you can customize to review transactions for all accounts or a single account. You can also choose different time periods based on our presets or choose a custom time period. You'll get some insights about your top inflows and outflows, as well as top 10 accounts by activity and the top 10 descriptions by frequency. So that's great. We've got a few quick insights right off the bat before we've done any work in our foundation template. But if you really wanna dive in and get in tune with your finances, your next step is to spend some time on the category sheet. Click the tab down at the bottom to access the category sheet and start thinking about how you spend and earn your money. The category sheet allows for up to 200 unique categories here in the category column. Each category must have a group and a type assigned. The types are expense, income, and transfer. Transfers are usually things like credit card payments when you have both of those accounts linked to the sheet and you see both the positive and the negative side of the transaction for the credit card payment. You can read more about transfers on our help center. So think about how you want to structure your groups and your categories. The group is the larger umbrella and then the categories fall underneath. As you can see here, I have several categories in my discretionary group. To edit categories, you can simply type over the categories that are here. So for kids classes, let's say I want to change this to yoga and rock climbing. I can do that by simply typing over it. And I want to change this group to wellness. So spend some time there just updating your category sheet and really having it reflect the way you spend and earn your money. So now I've spent some time setting up my groups and categories here on the category sheet. The next step is to spend some time categorizing your transactions. Tiller will automatically pull in your daily transactions from any accounts you have linked to the sheet when you visit the Tiller Money Feeds add-on and click Update Sheets in the add-on sidebar. So now that I have my daily transactions here, I can quickly categorize them using the category column and I can simply start typing a category. Or I can use the drop down to pick the category from the list. This is all pulling from the category sheet. So as I'm going through to categorize transactions, if I find that one's missing, I can simply add it to the bottom of the list here. So spend some time categorizing at least this month's worth of transactions. There's no need to categorize all 90 days worth of transactions that Tiller can typically bring in, but just maybe categorize this month to get you started. So now that I've categorized everything for the month of September, I'm ready to dig into the next steps with my Tiller sheet. If you just wanna track your spending and you don't really care to budget, you can at least get some insights on your actual spending still using the monthly budget tab. You see the actuals column here and it will let you know how much you've spent in each category based on the group and the type. If you'd like to use the foundation template for budgeting, your next step will be to head back over to the category sheet and set your budget amounts in the appropriate column for the month. So right now my 12 month budget is starting at January of 2019. If I would prefer to have my 12 month budget start in a different month, I can simply type the date of the first day of the month that I want it to start. So for September, I would just type 9-1-2019, and then the budget will then update all subsequent months. We recommend that you go ahead and set the start month here one time and then don't change it, and then start working in your budgets for each of your categories. So for my phone bill, it's about 70 bucks a month. You can see as I type in the amount for this first month, it will cascade across to all future months. So I can quickly go through and just set my budget amounts here. So now you can see that I have set up a budget for an entire year in less than two minutes. So now I can look at my entire year's budget here on the yearly budget tab. I get a sense for my budgeted cash flow based on how much I think I'm going to spend. And then I get a sense for my actual cash flow based on how much I've actually earned in a given month 
versus how much I've actually spent in a given month. You can see I get my cash flow for the entire year over here as well, and I get the whole year summary right in one view. If I wanna drill down to a particular month, I can use the monthly budget tab here, and then I get some really great insights now that I've actually set up a budget. So I can see what my planned cash flow is for the month of September against my cash flow to date for this month. I can also see my spending budget compared to my actual spending. And then finally, I can see how much I'm expecting to earn versus how much I've actually earned to date so far this month in September. I get a few insights down here. It's letting me know I'm short about $1,000 of my income budget and that I have 20% of my expense budget that's still available and there are 11 days left in the period. So I think I'm doing okay. Most of my spending is in the living group so far and it gives me a quick total. I can drill down into individual groups and categories as I scroll down. I can see what's available in a particular category with some key information about where I'm over being highlighted in red here. The best practice to maintain your budget is to simply get into your transaction sheet every few days and categorize transactions. That's going to fuel your awareness about where your money's going and empower your financial future. If you have any questions about using the foundation template, please reach out to us in the support chat or email support at tillerhq.com directly. Happy tracking!